everyone and welcome to another tech review. Well, here's something you won't see every day. This is something we've all been waiting for for a very long time, the 128 gigabyte micro SD card. Now these are only available from SanDisk at the moment. They've only just come out at the beginning of May 2014. They were announced a couple of months ago, but here they are in the flesh. I ordered this six weeks ago for my birthday and it's finally turned up. So I'm going to pop this in my phone and uh, we'll see what the storage looks like on the phone with 128 gig in it. Now, interestingly enough, it's not the fastest card in the world. It's 30 megabytes per second. But to be honest, that's fast enough for pretty much any purposes um, apart from transferring very large files. So let's pop it in the phone and see what well, it always makes sense to power off your devices before you install something like this, so I'll do that. Um, this is a Galaxy Note 3, as you can probably tell from the size of it, and it comes with 32 gig of storage. So, with the um, 128 gig SD card in it, it will have 160 gig of storage, approximately. Um, that is uh, you know, unthinkable if you're an iPhone owner, uh, you can get 64 and that's it. And unfortunately, with the quality of videos that we're shooting these days, space fills up very quickly. So this card is really quite well. Now, the recommended method to open these packs is with a pair of scissors, and that is definitely the easiest way. If you cut where they show you, the packs open quite straightforwardly. Otherwise, they're an incredible pain to get open. And there we have our little card. Let's compare it with a 64 on some white paper, and we can see what sort of size difference there is. Well, even zooming right in close and looking at these from an angle, there's very little to, to show in difference between them. They've apparently managed to fit the extra memory onto the, uh, the card on the left is 128, and the card on the right is a, an ordinary 64, and the, they've managed to fit the extra memory in by flattening the layers slightly, uh, so that they can get more in. And this is now the density of memory that we have here in this 128 gig card. So I'm going to pop it in the phone, boot the phone up and show you the... Uh, Actually it's quite interesting because Samsung have uh, changed the way that you put the memory in these phones. And you can now actually insert and remove the memory while the phone is switched on without removing the battery, which you never could before. So here we are and in the real world what do we get? Well, uh, a Galaxy Note 3 with 32 gig of storage built in. Um, doesn't actually have 32 gig available and likewise with a memory card you don't get all the available storage once it's been formatted but this brand new card does have 119 gigabytes of storage which is an enormous amount of storage space plenty for those 4k videos that all these new phones which are coming out will be able to shoot so uh, technology moves on storage doubles every couple of years and here we have a great amount of storage for any device that can use SDXC cards